fun designs and I wanted to make a video for a uh, bottom wall drop spindle to show you how to begin on a bottom wall spindle. On a bottom whorl, the uh, whorl is, of course, on the bottom, the weighted part that will make it spin. I don't actually have one of my top whorl spindles, but I have a separate video for that. Um, so we're going to do park and draft um, to teach you how to drop spindle on this, the same as you would do with the top whorl. Um, it's pretty much the same as you would do with the top whorl. Um, it's just that on a top whorl, you'd be putting the shaft like that between, and the, the whorl would be on the top. On the bottom whorl, you will have to put the, the uh, whorl between your legs like this. Um, with my kits, um, you will receive any instructions that have um, the link to this video, and they also have pictures um, of each step. And you can order a um, kit that would have roving like this. And this is a roving, this has been carded, um, and the fibers go in all different directions. And this is very easy to fly because it, it's very thin, and you can just uh, draft it like this. One of the main things with uh, spinning is that you need to learn to draft your fiber. Um, you can't hold your fiber too close together because the fibers are longer than, than the space between which I'm holding them, and so I can't draft them. You need to hold your fingers slightly more farther apart, and you can see that you're pulling them apart, and you want to pull the fibers apart until you can kind of see through them. You can see where the fibers are pulling apart, and gently pre-draft the fibers so that you'll be ready to spin. You can pre-draft a little, or you can draft them. You can pre-draft them before you're going to spin, or you can draft as you go. It doesn't matter. Um, also, my kits can also come with, um, this is comb top. Um, all the fibers are aligned, all going in the same direction. Now, this is a lot more thick, and so if you get one of these, I recommend that you split the, the fiber going down the length of the, uh, of the comb top and just pull off a little piece so you don't have as much to work with because this would... This thickness would be just kind of a lot for a beginner to work with. So again, you want to learn to draft it. Pull it gently apart, holding your hands farther apart. And you can kind of see where the, it's getting thin, where the fibers are pulling apart. So you take your bottom wall drop spindle. You bring the leader string, I might have a leader string, and you want to wind it about three times around there. Then you'll take the loop, put a little bit of your pre-drafted fiber through there. And just it around. And then you want to put spin in that leader string in a clockwise direction, always in a clockwise direction. So we're spinning it, spinning it, getting tons of spin into that leader string until it starts to telephone cord up. It's so much spin in there. Then you'll take your right hand and you're holding back that spin. You're holding that back that spin so it doesn't get into your fiber supply. If that spin gets into your fiber supply, you will not be able to draft it. So what you'll do is slide that up and you can feel the twist following your fingers up into the fiber supply. You can feel the twist following your fingers up into the fiber supply. You draft, let it go. I think I've probably used, see how I've used most of the spin in my leader string. So I'm going to unwind it from the hook. And then I'm going to wrap that on in a clockwise direction. Now with the bottom whorl, you need to have enough that you can come up that shaft. I usually give it a little bit of wind around. And you want to put that around three times. Keep your fiber supply out of the way. And again, put lots of spin in a clockwise direction into that. Is that really strong? See how it's getting really short and it's it's really telephone corded up. Again, park it 
in between your knees. Draft, pull back with your left hand. And slide up with your right hand. Pull back, draft with your left hand. Slide up with your right hand. Pull back. Draft with your left hand and slide up with your right hand. That spin will follow those fingers up on your right hand. Now you see I use most of this spin, the twist that's in here, and so it's time to unwrap. And wind it on the shaft of the spin. Again, this is a drop spindle, so you need to leave more to go up the shaft. Wind around. I'm going to do this again. Lots. Lots of spin into that. Park it between your knees. Again, grab, pinch that tightly because you do not want any spin in the fiber supply or it will not draft apart. Now, I'm going to show you once you get better, you can let go. Instead of, instead of sliding up, you could let go, pinch, draft, let go, and that spin will follow it up. Pinch, draft, let go, pinch, draft, let go, and you can also do that. <coughs> I'm going to line this up, and I'm also going to show you um, a lot of beginners very quickly. They're Fiber supply breaks. You're not paying attention and your fiber supply breaks and you're like, oh my goodness, how am I going to how am I going to get that back together again? Well, you simply lay, you drop this out a little bit, and take this and you lay the fibers alongside. And to draft them out together. And let the spin twist them together. You draft them together, they don't realize they're two separate fiber supplies, and they go together like that. I think I've already oh, I have a little bit more spin in there. So I've used all the spin in there. And it's time to wrap on the shaft again. So that is how you begin to drop spindle. My drop spindles are between 0.7 and 0.8 ounces uh, for either the top whorl or the bottom whorl. I make them that uh, weight because once you get a lot of yarn on here, it gets heavier and that can make that, that uh, start to slip if this gets too, mu too much weight. So if you start out with a heavier um, spin, uh, spindle that's maybe got a three inch whirl or, or is just very heavy, it'll start to slip. Um, this with a little bit of weight, it's got enough weight, it'll spin nicely for you. Um, there was something else I was going to say about these spindles. I also make them um, 11 inches. Some, some people make them 12 inches, as you can see I had twist in the fiber supply and so that, um, that will not draft. Um, some people make these 12 inches, I think that's kind of just that much taller, that much farther that you need to reach your hands. So I think 11 inches is just right for um, being able to do this and also having enough room if you want to ply on your spindle. I have a separate video on um, plying on your drop spindle. Um, and again, this is Anita from Walnut Farm Designs and how to begin to spin on a bottom work drop spindle.